Oh, that you have one? <laughs> I'm a free spirit. <laughs> Welcome to this vlog. So I just wanted to get on here and do a quick little intro. Um, so this is probably going to be like a day of my life slash a weekend vlog. So I just wanted to make sure I had an introduction for it just in case I didn't get one earlier. So welcome and let me know if you like these vlogs because I'll definitely keep doing more. I think vlogging is just so much better um, and it kind of fits into my lifestyle a little bit better now. Um, if you go back to my first video, you would know that I like talked about how I like love vlogs and I think vlogs are just so personable. So yeah, um, welcome to the vlog and I hope you enjoy it. Before we actually jump into the vlog, I just wanted to do like a quick little unboxing. So I got this package from Teamy and it just says Detox Starter Kit and it has like the little Teamy logo at the bottom. Okay, so I just think this is so cute. So, oh wow. So when you open it up, it just it has like a tumbler and then it has like, I guess it has the tea underneath, it does. And then on the box it just says, let the journey begin. This is so pretty. So, the tumbler that I picked out is lavender. So, so this is what the tumbler looks like and then the bottom like screws off and then you can like put something inside and like have it like a storage and then on the inside it is yeah it's double layered let me give you guys a little close up so it's double layered and then the lid has like a open and close feature so when you're like on the go or when you're drinking you don't spill this is just so cute and i was like indecisive about what color to get but i love that i got the lavender like this it's just so pretty so i chose the detox kit and oh wow okay so it it comes with like a little detox calendar and it has 30 days on it and it tells you like which tea you're supposed to drink on which days and then it just starts from day one all the way to day 30. Wow, this is actually really helpful. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna start this tomorrow. And then, so it comes with the colon tea, which is 15 tea bags and it just obviously says tea at the top really cute packaging and then it comes with the skinny tea which is just literally just like it's not in bags but I think it comes with yeah so it comes with the little strainer I think specifically for the skinny tea so wow, this is really cute so you take it apart and you can like put the skinny tea on the inside, I think. And then you close it back up. And then maybe you're supposed to like dip it inside your, you know, whatever mug you use to make your tea and like warm up your water. And then I would just transfer it in here. So, I, okay, so basically what I would do is, you know, fill up a mug with water and then fill this with the tea. And then I would literally just use this as like a tea bag and like dip it inside the mug and then transfer you know the tea from the mug into my tumbler so this is actually really helpful that they give you this and not only that but it's just so cute can you see it's so cute it's the details for me like very pretty and then it also comes with a stand i'm assuming okay so you can like rest it on there and you know just sit it on your counter so that's just super super cute yeah so this is just all really really cute and i'm excited to use it so teamy was actually really generous to give me a discount code for you guys so i will have it like somewhere on the screen but it is tha15 and you will receive 15 percent off your order 
um, if you use my code, I do get a little commission off of it. So if you do use it, thank you so much for your support and your help. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Timmy. And guys, if you use my code, make sure you tag me on Instagram or if you do end up getting it. This is just so cute. Like the tumbler alone is just so pretty. Like I'm obsessed and then it does have a handle. Like y'all know me, y'all know I love details. So this is just like a win-win for me. So yeah, thank you so much, Timmy. And guys, don't forget to use my code. I will link everything down below for you guys. And yeah, now let's get into the vlog. So yes, this is going to be a vlog. Today is Friday, September 11th. And of course, like obviously we have to take the time to um, just like reflect and remember, you know, the people that we lost, the people that, you know, people actually lost during 9-11 and, um, you know, the first responders who, you know, risked their lives to save others who ended up, you know, losing their lives and the survivors as well. You have to take the time to like just think about them and, you know, this is a difficult day for, you know, the whole United States, but, you know, just remember to keep the people who were like really affected by it, you know, in your thoughts. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to like jump on here and, you know, not address that because I just literally remember it happening. Um, like, yeah, so I'm about to get ready and I thought I would just like start filming now so you guys can see like my everyday makeup routine and the products that I've been loving. I have new products that I'm going to show with you guys. I have a lot of new things, you guys. So there's going to be like a little haul in this, um, starting with my camera as well. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So I just washed my face with the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. Packaging is just everything. I've been using this for about two weeks now. My thoughts on it, I like it, but it's not my favorite cleanser and it's not my favorite product out of the three products that launched. So, you know, it's a good cleanser, but for me and my skin type, like I think like the stuff that I've been using just works a little bit better for me, which is either the Cetaphil Daily Cleanser or the CeraVe. Um, rough and bumpy skin like the salicylic acid cleanser i think that's what it is i'll link everything down below um so i've just been going back and forth between um those two before i've tried the fenty skin um so like for the past two weeks i've been using just the fenty skin like only and i haven't really noticed that much of a difference in my skin so you know it's just kind of one of those things where like not everything works for everybody so you know it's a good cleanser but I'm just gonna go back. To, I'm gonna use it all <laughs> and then go back to like um, my cleanser. So I also got the Fenty Skin Fat Water. This is the Pore Refining Toner Serum. It's the packaging for me. Like this, I've been loving. I've been using it. I don't know if you guys can really tell. I've been using it every day, and I really, really like it. I've been using the Fat Water with just like a regular basic cotton round. So I haven't put it on yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. The packaging is amazing. You just literally twist it open and you're good to go. So I'm gonna do this. I don't know if this is gonna be like a get ready with me or just, I think I'm just gonna talk about the products that are new and then play some music and then do like a little time lapse and speed you guys up. And then after toner, I go in with the moisturizer. It doesn't say, does it say? It doesn't say what the actual name of this moisturizer is, but of course I'll link it down below. Um, and this also has SPF of 25, I believe. And again, the packaging, you just twist the bottom, pump out however, however much you need, and you're good to go. I really do like the moisturizer. So my favorite thing from the line are the fat water toner and the moisturizer. And the moisturizer and the cleanser, they do have like a faint scent, but it's not like too strong. You know, a lot of people don't like scents in their skincare products, but um, two out of the three products do have them. And then, so this has been my skincare for day and night. No other products. And then sometimes I do go in with my eye cream. Not sometimes, it just kind of depends. Again, this is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is just like the mini version. And 
you guys know I love this so much and your girl needs it. I didn't get that much sleep last night. I think I went to sleep at like, I think I went to sleep at like two and we woke up at six and then we went back to sleep. Well, I went back to sleep, Isaiah stayed up and I woke up at eight. So, your girl got bags, your girl got dark circles. So, that's the situation for today. <laughs> okay okay and then my last step is always my Laneige lip sleeping mask and the scent sweet candy this camera y'all I don't know it's the camera for me I will let you guys know what camera I got once I get dressed and stuff so today we're gonna go to brunch and then we're gonna go back to Maryland so I'm gonna Philly right now um, you guys know I live in Philly and in Maryland. That was a lot. That was just a lot. You guys know that I live in Philly and in Maryland. So we came to Philly for the night. And I also want to just quickly show you the sunscreen that I've been loving. This isn't sponsored or anything. But I just want to let you guys know, just in case anyone, you know, is looking for a sunscreen. Especially a sunscreen that's like people of color friendly like no white cast no none of that so the sunscreen that i've been loving is the super goop i have the glow screen which is spf 40 and then unseen sunscreen which is also spf 40 i love the unseen one a lot better because it's literally just unseen like no white cast no like sticky feeling no residue none of that it doesn't like ball up kill underneath your makeup um, the glow screen was really pretty like in the beginning of summer for me just because I would just put this on and like have a nice glow However, I would get super oily especially like being outside at work and stuff like that I would get so oily so I would just like a greasy mess with this on So yeah, I've been loving these and I know summer is almost over for us here I know the other half of the world is gonna get summer soon. So, you know if anyone's curious about the sunscreen plus sunscreen is not just for the summertime we're living the sun's out we're supposed to use sunscreen year-round every day always no wrinkles no skin cancer you know you want to take care of your skin so anyway moving on let's go on to the new product that i have so i got the new nars soft matte foundation in the shade tahoe um i'm in the shade tahoe for the whole entire NARS foundation lines. I have like literally every single one. Like I just, NARS is one of my favorite brands ever. So I'm in Tahoe. If any of my you know subscribers or any of you watching are like kind of close to my skin tone. I also got the Patrick Ta for brows. And this is like the shaping wax for your brows in the shade clear. Of course I'll open everything up for you guys. I don't know why I just didn't do that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got these from Sephora, and I already opened it up to look at it, it's so pretty. The only thing about this mirror packaging though, is that the fingerprints get like so like, messy on it. Okay, so the mirror is nice, it's a nice small mirror, it's literally just like a clear wax. NARS kills it. NARS is just worth every penny to me. So here is the foundation packaging. It is a squeezy tube and this has 1.5 or 1.7 ounces. 1.5 ounces. That's what it says it here too. And again, I'm in the shade Tahoe. So I've been like abusing my natural radiant longwear foundation again in the shade Tahoe. Um, so I was like planning on using it today, but I think just for the sake of the video and just because it is a new foundation, I'll go ahead and test this out. I'm going to actually compare the shades as well because I want to see if they're like literally the same shade because sometimes like brands will have the same shade names, but they'll be like different tones and things like that. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh my God. How rude. I'm sweating. 
that joint. So, okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Nope, I lied. We're gonna come back to the foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows first. Um, so I saw Brianna Monique use this product and her brows are just like always like so perfect. So when I saw her using it, I was like, I might have to get that. So I got my brows done like a week ago, maybe like a week and a half ago. So I don't think you're supposed to literally like wet your spoolie first. I think you could just go in and I have like these spoolies from Amazon. They came in like a big pack. I will link them down below for you guys if any of you guys want them. So let me see how this works. Do I have to wet it? Does it have directions? <laughs> Directions. Activate the formula with a setting mist or water. Brush a spoolie or a firm brush into the pan. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna spray my spoolie, not the product itself. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and brush my brows. If I'm looking over here, it's because my mirror is right here. So let me brush my brows first. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this takes up. Okay. It's a lot better. And this is supposed to obviously give you like that bushy boy brow, that like model type of brow. So product I think I do I don't want to dig too much and then my brows are like wexy oh wow I'm gonna brush them down you guys I know it looks crazy I'm gonna brush them down this is my better brow I don't know why this brow is like so crazy. I don't think my waxer cut them as much as she did this one. Okay, so while that sets and I look crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the foundation. I'm sure you're supposed to let it set longer, but I'm just kind of impatient. I don't want to be on here looking crazy. Um, so yeah, I like the brows. I'm gonna fill them in a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get into foundation. So I'm gonna take this one first. I didn't bring my makeup palette. That sucks. All right, so I'm gonna put them on the back of my hand. You know, I hate doing that. NARS is really like they're they're usually good with that type of stuff. So this is the natural, what is it? The natural radiant longwear, and then this is the soft matte. So as far as shades go, they're literally spot on. I'm happy about that because, like I said, some brands kind of miss the the ballpark on that. I was about to forget to prime. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Universal Sheer, what? Like what? Um, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. for this body primer. I don't know why I was reading the shade. Like, it does say that on the back though, guys. So don't come for me. Feel my holy grail primer. And then I'm also gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It is such a gloomy and ugly day in Philadelphia. Like, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. No. 
not the case. Okay, now we can get into foundation. Sorry guys. Okay, so let's just go ahead. Once you do get it blended in, it is really seamless, which I do like. I don't know if it's just because of like my moisturizer and maybe like my primers that my skin looks a little glowy. Like it kind of has the same finish as the natural radiant one, but again, it is a soft matte, so it's not going to be like completely matte where it's like drying you out and like you know sucking the oils out of your skin. It's not going to like make you look like cakey or crusty. I feel like just because it is like that soft matte, which I actually prefer. I'm more like soft matte, natural, and like dewy nowadays for my foundations. Like that's what I'm going for. I don't know if I'm like feeling matte right now. Maybe in the winter I will, but as of right now, I've just been liking like the natural glowy look, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer. I think I'll be back with the bronzer and then I'll see through everything else. I'm gonna play some music. And yeah, of course, let you guys watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and then I'll come back to show you guys the new bronzers that I got. stick but you can use it as a contour or what else did it say contour conceal and correct so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this oh guys cream bronzer just scares me so bad like oh, it's already too much it's already too much it's already too much So 
don't know if you guys saw, but that just blended out so easily, which is why I've been loving it. And I just wanted to make sure I had mentioned it in the video. Because it's like really good. And I think it was like originally $14. But when I went to Ulta, it was on sale for $6. So I like snatched it up. Okay, so I lied. I'm not gonna go in with bronzer yet. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face first. So I'm gonna take my, another new product, the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. I'm so excited about this because their regular, you know, their regular um, translucent powder is so good anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just mix the two because Honey kinda gets me like, there's so much in here. Honey kind of gives me like it, it kind of just makes my concealer not as bright and it kind of matches it to my foundation so it doesn't give me like that brightening effect. It is a really nice yellowy shade, like a yellowy peachy shade, but I just feel like sometimes it's a little bit too dark. So what I do is just mix it and then I go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take like a brush and mix them. Because translucent by itself is just way too light for me. And then honey is nice for those days where I don't want like that brightening effect, but when I do, um it just not it for me so I mix them so I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in it looks like that dab some off and then go in with that and I've been loving the like the honey is pretty of course it's the same formula so it's a beautiful powder I'm, I'm so happy they came out with it because I, I stopped using translucent because it was just too white for me. I needed like a yellowy powder. So I'm excited for honey. And then I'll just use honey on like the other areas of my face. But for my under eyes, definitely mix them for me. It's really pretty. The foundation is looking good too. So. And then so for bronzer, and then I'm going to just speed through the rest, is the Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer. And this is in the shade Mega Star. And I wasn't going to pick this up, but when I went into Ulta and saw it on display, I was like, first of all, that's huge. Second of all, the mirror, like, the mirror is like gorgeous, you guys. Then third of all, I was like, wow, this is so warm. It kind of gave me like give me sun vibes, but a little bit deeper. So let me see if I like this. I'm hoping I like this. You guys know like my favorite bronzer is the Benefit Caramel, Benefit Fula Caramel. So let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Is she warm or is she red? She's pigmented. Hold up. Oh, she's. Oh, she getting pretty red. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think she's getting red, but she definitely is. Is pigmented for sure. So, go in with a light hand. I don't like trying new bronzers because bronzers to me just they're either too cool tone or too red, like. I haven't found a bronzer that I like more than the Vula Caramel. So, I feel like this might be giving me a little red. I don't know if I like that. I know I don't like that. But then again, I think it's just in my head. Because it's warm. Oh, it's pretty though. I have mixed feelings. I might use it one more time to like get my thoughts together before I write it off or keep using it, you know what I mean? Like, I 
also have to see how it looks in pictures because if it looks too red in pictures, it's a definite no. What do you guys think? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest, play some music, and I will be back to show you guys my outfit of the day and open up some some packages. dressed obviously <laughs> but um I'm, before i like show you my outfit and i curl my hair also a little bit but before i show you my outfit let's do a little unboxing okay so let's start with the camera so the camera that i got is the sony zv1 it's the digital camera obviously and it is created for content creation slash content creators so this is what the box looks like this is what the camera looks like I don't have this actual tripod just because I didn't know if I was gonna like the camera or not so I didn't get the tripod and so I like tested out the camera so the camera I will show you guys in the mirror or I might just do a video on my phone and put it side by side but this is what it looks like so the viewfinder flips out and it can also turn which I really really like and then it also sorry there's birds outside <laughs> so it also why is that when I talk it wants to do that so it also comes close the window. So the viewfinder flips out, which I really like, and it turns, which is really, really cool. And then it also comes with like this wind muffler that can detach from the top of your camera if you want to. So like when you're outside and like it might be windy or even like inside to be honest. And like let's say you have like a fan on, like a ceiling fan or something, it muffles out that sound to provide the best quality that it can, like the best quality um, audio that it can provide. And yeah, I've been loving this camera. Um, I've been using it, like testing it out for like, the past like two weeks, I believe. And I wanted to just jump on here and tell you guys which camera I got and if I've been loving it. A lot of you guys ask me a lot of questions on, sorry, I'm putting my curling iron back on because my curls are dropping. It's so hot. Um, a lot of you guys ask me what camera I usually film with and that is the Sony A5100 and I will link it down below. A lot of you guys like the quality of that camera and I get a lot of questions on it so of course I'll link it down below. This camera is more expensive obviously it's new. Um, I think it came out like two or three months ago so it is more expensive but I love the quality on it. Like I'm so happy that I got it because I saw a lot of mixed reviews and 
I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna test it out myself, see if I like it, what's the tea, if it fits me, and it does, so I thought I wouldn't mention it because I usually get a lot of questions on what camera I use to film. So, I'm not feeling my hair, y'all. I'm just not feeling it. Okay, moving on to more interesting things, more exciting things. Uh, are you guys ready? I'm so excited. So, I've had these for a week. No, so I've had these for like three, no, maybe like two weeks now. And I've been waiting to show you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, I got a pair of Bottegas, guys. So, I um, wanted to treat myself. Um, I got like all A's on like my spring and summer, uh, in my spring and summer semesters. And I usually like to just reward myself and treat myself. So, I was like, let me just, let me just get some Bottegas, like, they're so stinking cute and like the season isn't over yet like summer isn't over yet summer is close to being over but um it usually stays warm here in pennsylvania for a little bit like maybe like till the end of september it kind of depends but i wouldn't mind using these in the fall as well like wearing them in the fall maybe like in the beginning stages as well like with like a really nice like jacket like a nice coat i think that would be so pretty so yeah i got some Bottegas. like what let's just get into it and i'm going to be wearing them today as well Fish. dennis is still here oh. you have one i'm a free spirit so it comes with the extra heel taps for um both of the shoes and then it comes with I think this is just like the authenticity I'm pretty sure or probably like just how to take care of them mooring and then my receipt is probably in here yeah I think that's my receipt so I got these in a size 36.5 which is a six and a half which is my normal shoe size so so they both come in their own separate dust bags, which I love. Like I don't like when shoes come in like, especially designer shoes, like when they come in just like one dust bag. Mm -mm. Like, let's not do that. So this is what they look like in the dust bag. The dust bag is really good quality. And then, oh my gosh, what? I already opened them, so like I already know that I absolutely love them, but y'all, like, can we just get into it? Let me take this out. Like, let's just really get into it. Like, this is... I'm speechless. They're so pretty, and I think they're gonna look so cute with my outfit today. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I just, like, the heel is small. Like, it's a real, like, short, I'm pretty sure this is probably, like, 3.5 inches. So it is, like, a really short heel. But, I mean, they're gonna be comfortable, so. Oh my gosh, I, y'all, I can't. And this is the right one. Again, I got them in a size 36 and a half. Super cute. So I will insert probably a picture of them on my feet, maybe even a video. Um, and then of course, I will insert a picture of like this whole entire outfit with the shoes on as well. So yeah, and then to go with these, I already took it out the box and put it in its dust bag, but this is the Kara bag, it's a little wallet, so cute, and it just has this really big, sturdy, heavy, beautiful chain on it, so you can wear it like as a crossbody. You can like wear it as a crossbody. I would probably wear it more up on my chest. Yeah. This middle part, I mean this side part is just not working for me. It's just not doing it for me. Um so I would probably wear it like 
up my chest like this, or you can just get it wrapped around your wrist, which is probably what I'm gonna do today. So you can just like wrap it around and then fold it down. It's just so pretty. Like you don't need any bracelets or anything with this because this is obviously a statement piece in itself. So yeah, this is also a new buy. And it literally came the same day that the Bottegas did, so I was so excited. I was so hyped. It was like Christmas. So, yes. Um, and then let me show you my outfit. So those were the packages that I'm going to open. I have a, one more a really special package to open with you guys, but I might do that when we come back from brunch because we're a little bit pressed for time. So, okay, so first of all, here's the camera for you guys to see too. So small and cute. So my top is from Zara. This was in my Zara haul. Um, I don't even know how long ago, but if you just you know look on my channel, I'm sure, or I'll link it down below, and you can see. So it's just like a bodysuit. And then my shorts are from Pangaea. And then I'm gonna put my Bottegas on. And then also the bag I just showed you guys. I also have these glasses that I've been wearing. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them today, but. I've been really liking these low key. I might just like wear them up on my head. Ah, yeah, I might just wear them up on my head or something if my hair decides to act crazy. But yeah, this is the outfit of the day. And again, I will insert pictures for you to see. I'm not bugging. Look at this, look at this rebound in the game. It just did it again. It just did it again. And it's like I'm paying attention because this fucking these drivers is crazy. This, like, why is this my experience right now? Like, I don't like this. Job. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He went up on the grid. And then the gens go back over there. Like, I don't understand it. What happens if the road is like? Detour a road that's like a bus route. Who does? Who does? A bus route. Except this one like chaps at this. Why is Philly so crazy right now? Like of all time, so the roads to like crazy. I hate when people put eyelashes on their cars. Eyelashes? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? On their headlights. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have headlights. They have lights like the eyes. Hey, come around LA. Get out the forest with the race. So, I'm gonna look crazy. I am back home in Maryland. Let's like kind of get into like the foundation. Like it's been on since I think like 10, maybe like 11-ish. And I think it looks pretty good, so. So, I am about to eat some lemon pepper wings and fries. I have some blue cheese. I have this salsa water that I've been really loving. This is the AHA brand sparkling water. Um, this is in the peach and honey flavor. I was gonna say scent, but um, the peach and honey scent. So if you're into like salsa water, I really recommend this brand and the bubbly brand. And I like, in this brand, I like the peach and honey and I like the um, strawberry and cucumber and the 
watermelon and lime. Those are like my three favorites uh, flavors for this brand. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this food. Let me just show you real quick. So I got lemon, lemon pepper wings, fries, blue cheese, another blue cheese because we're real saucy over here. Uh, it's also warm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this food and then watch Love Island as well while I'm eating. I have it on right now, it's on mute. Love Island is where it's at, okay? Like if you don't watch Love Island, why don't you watch Love Island? Like it's so good. Um, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna jump back on here and do like a little haul with you guys. I've got a package from Zara and um, pretty little thing. So I'll show you guys what I got. And then that's it for the night. And then I'm gonna like take a shower, things like that, and just relax. And then I'll probably see you guys in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat before my food gets cold. And I'm, I'm like missing the show too. <laughs> and then I'll jump back on with you guys to show you the packages. Like, I don't know why I still have these glasses on my head and I've been in the house for literally so freaking long. Actually not really long, like maybe like, apologize if you can hear Isaiah, but we've been home for like 40 minutes. So not really that long. But anyway, um, I just finished eating. I just finished watching Love Island. And he's so loud, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, just putting some lotion on my hands. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna get into this little quick haul. Um, something crazy, literally the most basic things. You guys know I'm such a basic dresser. Um, very much like comfy, casual, um, like athleisure, sporty. That's about it. Like you guys, I don't know. I just like being comfortable. And I know what fits my body. I know what I like to see on my body at this point. So, like dresses and skirts and tight, like tight things, it's just not for me. Like I like to just let my clothes be like, you know, big and like my bodysuit is tight, but like I won't wear like a tight pair of jeans with it. Like I can't have too much of a tight outfit. Like I just don't like how it looks on my body. So you guys know I love my sweatpants and things like that, sweatshorts that type of stuff. So I got this little package from Zara and inside it's a whole bunch of tops. You guys know to deal with tops on this channel by now. Um, so I think I got about one, two, three, four, five. I got five tops from Zara and they're all crop tops, of course, what's new. So the first top is, and actually every single top is from the Limitless Contour Collection. So the first top is like this mock neck slash, I guess it is kind of like a turtleneck type of vibe um, of crop top. And it's in like this mauve shade. I got it in a size extra small, small, and it was $12.90. And yeah, what shade is this? Like a, a mauve because it's not nude. I have a nude one in here and it's not really like purple because I have a purple one in here, like a lavender one. So I don't know. It's, I don't know what you would call this shade. Like it's, it's a very unique shade, but yep, I picked this up. You guys know that I love this collection from Zara. So I had to pick it up and then I got it in this pretty olive shade. Actually, this isn't even olive. This is like sage actually, to be specific. This says, extra small slash small and then $12.90 as well. This is just like a very pretty like, I feel like this is like perfect for fall and to like transition. I'm very much a person to like wear like crop top, like crop tops in the fall, like with like sweatpants, like how I do now or like with jeans. So I'm not, you know, opposed to wearing crop tops in the, in the fall and the winter. Um, maybe not so much the winter because in Pennsylvania it does get really cold. Um, and also in Maryland, so maybe not so much in winter, but fall definitely. So it's like perfect to start wearing, you know, once fall hits. I'm gonna save this color specifically for fall. Like, actually both of these, to be honest. Um, and then a couple more that I have in here. And then one of them I'm gonna actually wear tomorrow because I just cannot wait. So then I got it in nude. Again, extra small, size small, 1290. And it's just the nude shade. And I have um, this same color and two of the other 
limitless contour crop tops but it doesn't have like the little mock neck type of vibe i'm sure you guys have seen it on me like multiple times but um yeah so i got ahead like had to pick it up in the nude of course and then i have two long sleeve ones and these were $19.90 and again size extra small slash small again with this beautiful sage color and it's not a like full length long sleeve i think this might be more so like three quarter length and then i'll still like kind of scrunch it up and roll it up a little bit more and yeah again it's perfect for fall like when i saw that it was like you know a longer sleeve instead of being sleeveless sleeveless <laughs> I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. And then I also got it in this um, chocolate shade. And again, extra small, size small. And this was 19.90, right? Yep, 19.90. And of course, the perfect, you know, shade for fall. Like, I cannot wait to wear this shade. Like, I feel like this shade with like a nude lip, like beautiful. And then this is the color that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. This is the one. This is in a size medium slash large. I wonder why I got the mock necks in an extra small size small. I don't know why I did that. Because the top that I do have in other colors in this same type of um, like racer back style, I have them in a medium large. And I love how they fit. So I don't really know why I got those. Whatever. So I have this in the nude black and the white, and then they put this new color up. So of course I have to pick it up. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow with one of the things from Pretty Little Thing or something else. I'm not really sure yet, but yes, this shade, it's like so pretty. It's the prettiest lavender. It's just so pretty, it's perfect. Zara tops are just it for me. So, you know, I have to pick these up and then from Pretty Little Thing. I have this big bag that has nothing literally special in it. Um, let me just open it up real quick because it's gonna be loud. Okay, so from Pretty Little Thing, let me just get the receipt. I got four pairs of sweatpants and they were having like a really good sale. Like a really, really good sale. So I just, you know, use my opportunity to get as many as I can for the fall and winter. So I got the four pairs. They're all right here on my desk. I'm gonna start with this one. This one is the Petite Stone Tie-Dye Cargo Joggers. Oh, okay. I saw like dash 10 next to it for size 10, but it's um UK size 10, US size six. I was gonna say, why the hell would I ever get something in a size 10? Like. Why, why would I think that would fit me? But yeah, it's a size six and it's just this like nude tie-dye sweatpants that has like cargo pockets right here or like pockets, I guess. Not even cargo pockets, but just pockets right here on the legs. This one is like higher up. I thought this was so cute. And then the bottoms are like, you know, really tight and scrunched, which is kind of like the style that I love. I love this type of style of sweatpants. So yeah, I picked these up again in a size six. And these are super cute. I would just wear this with like a white crop top, of course, and call it a day, have my outfit together already. So yes, this is the first pair of sweatpants. I've been like itching for like a pair of tie-dye sweatpants. You guys know that I did that tie-dye bikini haul like a couple months ago. And I was like obsessed with it. So now that it's like sweatpants season, like officially, even though I've been wearing sweatpants all summer, I was like, I need a pair for the winter. So the next pair I got was this high-waisted jogger in the shade Sage Green and it's tie-dye US size six. So. Ooh, these are soft. These are softer than the other ones. Oh my gosh, I love these. These look big. This has a piece of hair on it. Like whose hair is on this? The packagers. So again, this is in the size six. And oh, so when you, like if you were to fold it down, it has drawstrings. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And I knew I wanted to get green just because why did I want to get green? 
I knew I wanted to get either green or blue. I didn't want to get any like pinks or purples. So um, the blue ones, I think I saw on there, I didn't really care for, but when I saw these, I was like, yeah, these are really cute. So yes, these are it. These are so cute. I actually really can't wait to wear these too. Like again, a white crop top, you got your outfit together. You look cute, you look like you're not doing too much. And it's just perfect so then the next two pairs of sweatpants are by the same line they're just two different colors so the first one this is where does it say it doesn't say let me see another receipt okay so this is the taupe established slogan casual joggers and i got them in a size medium again this the shade is taupe and then the size is medium so let's open it up I actually really like this color like on oh these look huge did I need the small <gasps> y'all these look freaking huge I gotta try them on but the reason why I picked them up was because they had the stitching of PLT right here and it says since 2012 and it reminded me of like Calvin Klein's like logo like if you've seen like their like em like their um embroidery it looks a lot like this and I know that's probably what they were going for but I just thought it was like so like understated and cute and I don't mind that it says like PLT because I love pretty little thing anyway so I just thought it was like the cutest little thing but I think they're too big I mean I feel like there's no such thing as like too big of sweatpants and again, the bottom are like scrunched up, but maybe I'll just go for like that oversized, really baggy look and then have like a super tight crop top on. Again, a white crop top, maybe even like a nude crop top, to be honest. Like, should I have like a full on like nude type of outfit? That might be cute, to be honest. But knowing me, I'll probably just wear a white crop top so that these can like stand out. These look really big and I wasn't going for like the super baggy look, so I'm sad. But the other pair I got is just like that, but it is in the shade Ash Gray. And again, I got the size medium. Oh, I'm scared. I hope when I try them on it, it still like looks like the way I have it envisioned in my head. But this shade of gray is so cute. Like, like this just makes me want to go on and order some more, to be honest. So again, it has like the, the um, embroidery right here that says pretty little thing. It says 2012. And these look big too. Like, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, like how like wide the legs are. But again, maybe I'll just go for that really big pant and then really like tight top type of vibe. So I want to wear these tomorrow with this lavender crop top from Zara. And I, one, wanna take a picture with like my tumbler cause it's literally the exact same shade as this. And two, um, I just wanna take a picture cause I feel like this is like such a cute outfit for me. And you guys know that I would probably wear these sweatpants with like a white crop top. But since I have this pretty lavender top and I don't know what I would wear with other than like white like the white shorts i had on today by pangaya um i don't know what else i would wear it with to be honest other than like maybe like some denim shorts also but i figured like let me just wear this like whole new outfit take a picture in them i might even put some perplex heels on with these instead of like slides yeah yeah probably like some nice clear like perplex heels i think that would be so cute like so like casual but you still look cute like i don't mind wearing heels with sweatpants like that's just me but um so yeah this is probably gonna be my outfit for tomorrow and i'm not even doing anything special tomorrow other than like having to go like to target and stuff like that but obviously i wouldn't wear the heels to target but to take pictures i would definitely you know just have my heels on with it and yeah i feel like that's just so cute but um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead it's been such a long day like i am so 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 tired so i'm gonna just go ahead and end tonight's you know vlog here so i'm gonna just go ahead and say good night and i'm gonna go take a shower and drink like a lot of water because those wings were like they were so good but they were just like so salty like i feel like they were just like overly salty so i'm gonna drink 
a lot of water before I go to bed, which means I'll be up throughout the night going to the bathroom, but that's okay. I'd rather do that than not, you know, wash down that sodium, like, ugh. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and crawl into bed. Isaiah is streaming. He's probably not gonna come to bed until midnight, maybe like one or two, two, to be honest. And yeah, tomorrow, like I said, we're gonna go to Target. Um, I think that's really it. We're gonna spend the day cleaning the house. And I really wanna go to Target to get a comforter for our bedroom because during the summer months, we just kind of just use our sheets and then we each have like our own little throw blanket that we use. Um, but it's been getting cold in our condo, so we want a comforter. Like it's gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be such a cold winter. And I'm a winter baby. I'm actually like a fall baby technically. And my birthday is like right on the cusp of winter. Like I think my birthday is like literally four days before winter. But um, I do not like the cold. I, I'm such like a warm, I don't know if it's just like my family being from the islands or what, but I just love warm weather. Like I cannot do the cold. So it's been cold at night. We wake up like shivering. And I feel like we've been waking up not feeling good because of that. So I'm gonna go get us a comforter because I don't know, we have comforters. We have so many comforters, but like, it's just not filling them. So I already saw the one I want on Target and my Target does have it. So I'm gonna go there and get it and then get some like other little supplies that we need. And yeah, that's basically it for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll show you like where I'm at right now and like, how I've been getting this room together since I'm gonna be in here like literally every day, basically all day. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. I'm so tired, you guys. Like I can't even express it enough. I'm so tired. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm not even gonna stay in the morning because I don't even know what time we're gonna wake up. Probably like 11, maybe 12. So I will just see you tomorrow. And yeah. Bye guys.